this might be a little controversial sitting down there at number eight, but you know, to be on the top 10 is an honor anyway. So come on. Number eight, Avatar, The Way of Water, directed by James Cameron, starring Sam Worthington, Zoe Saldana, Sigourney Weaver, Kate Winslet, Stephen Lang, and a few others. Um, the reason it's at number eight is the action itself and the technology around this film is incredible. Like, you can't really hate on the visual effects um, in this film. And I really did think that the action surprised me. There were moments mm. when it was like pretty violent, which yeah. is like good for an action film. Um, not like over the top violent, but they didn't really pull back any punches, especially um, to, you know, to try to remain spoiler free. Like Zoe Saldana, let's just say, can put it in rage mode oh, pretty yeah. quick. And it's yeah. pretty impressive. And like that, I just like the action. Um, yeah, it was very primal and it, it really paid homage to, you know, those those Avatar characters and, and what they're capable of, um, even with, you know, kind of primitive resources, more or less, because, uh, you know, they live off the land and they've got spears and arrows and bows and arrows and, and you know, an, the animals that they uh, work with. But yeah, uh, and then taking on, you know, major, you know, artillery from military uh, humans, it's it's pretty cool what they did all around. And, and I also really loved one of the, my favorite things about it, which I think they really did a good job focusing on in this film is the family dynamic. And yep. uh, I'm not gonna lie, I teared up a few times during that film. All right. A couple of things happened that, you know, pulled and on the heart strings. Deep emotional moments for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there was some really cool, uh, really cool action, like Will was saying. And some of the visual effects were just like, I, I can't even fathom how hard it was to film some of those scenes underwater and uh, the amount of work and effort. I mean, it's, what, it's been a decade, you know, how long has it been since? 12, 12, 12 years. years 12, yeah. yeah. And I, you know, they, it's doing extremely well in the box office right now. And crushing, and I think it's you know worth it. It it deserves it. Totally, it um it's worth the price of admission to get that spectacle. the The only reason it's not higher up is um the story. I I really just thought the story could have been a lot better, but it kind of makes up for it with the action and the visual effects and all that. Um, and you still you know if you liked the first one, you still care about the characters and you know, all that. But I just think it's yeah. docked a few points for this story. I think I need to watch it again. Um, I only saw it the one time, but there's, I, I think, you know, from watching it, that there are a few holes that maybe could be better defined um, or explained. And maybe that, maybe that takes another watching over. I don't know, but there's definitely a couple parts where you're like, you know, where's everyone else at? What, what just happened? What's, what's going on here? But overall, Super fun film, uh, really freaking awesome, and uh, I've enjoyed my three hours and twelve minutes in the theater watching that. Yeah, you you got yeah. your money's worth, right? It's a popcorn oh, yeah. flick, you know. It's you got to go see it. Yeah, don't be the the one nerd in your friend group that didn't see Avatar. Come on. Thanks for watching Studio Twenty Two. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for tuning in to Studio 22.